Hi, and welcome to this overview of the key benefits of BIM 360 Design. BIM 360 Design is the successor of Collaboration for Revit and, as the name suggests, is tightly integrated into Autodesk's BIM 360 portfolio, a cloud-based ecosystem of tools and solutions to help the architecture, engineering and construction industry, or short, the AC industry, in managing building projects from conception into handover and maintenance. Before we show some of the workflows enabled by BIM 360 Design, let's first take a look at some of the challenges the industry faces. When it comes to delivering a building, communication and follow-up between the different stakeholders is critical. Still, most of the companies working in the AC space have disconnected workflows and manage information in siloed, generic storage systems. This leads to the massive waste that is prevalent in delivering projects and distributed teams are hurt by delays in communications and waste time searching for the right project information. This is where Autodesk's BIM 360 offering can help out. A common data platform on which all relevant project information is stored with, on top of it, dedicated solutions for specific sub-disciplines such as pre-construction, site management, commissioning, health and safety inspections, etc. Now then, let's focus on the design aspect with BIM 360 Design. BIM 360 Design allows Revit users to collaborate across companies, across divisions and across geographical locations using the power of the cloud. This means there is no complicated IT setup or management on behalf of the design company or companies. Moreover, as mentioned at the beginning of this presentation, it is based on the same powerful technology that was used by C4R, which essentially means that for a Revit user, picking up this functionality is a matter of minutes, not days or weeks. Essentially, designers familiar with the concept of work sharing within Revit will immediately understand how to make use of the BIM 360 design functionality. Claiming objects and work sets, relinquishing elements, save to central and reload latest, all these commands remain in place. In fact, BIM 360 design also allows for non-work shared files to participate in the workflow. This was introduced in Revit 2019.2. So what has changed compared to collaboration for Revit? Essentially, as the data is being saved into BIM 360 docs, it means we now have a mechanism in place to securely transfer design from one discipline to another through a process that is completely traceable and auditable. This is being established by something called a package. Think of this as a milestone delivered by an AAC discipline at a certain moment in time. Once a package has been created, the other disciplines can then accept or consume it. So they can reference it in their own discipline's design, after which the whole process starts again. Let's now take a better look at the different components that constitute BIM 360 design. First of all, there's the integration within Revit. Not only is this a very familiar concept to most Revit users, the integration with the cloud is transparently integrated into Revit's interface. So even to new users, the functionality can be picked up very easily. Secondly, as the data is being stored within BIM 360, it means non-Revit users can view and interact with the design team as the data is being published. It means any stakeholder with defined access to design data can give feedback on it and participate in review processes, even without the need to install Revit or any other local desktop tool. Lastly, as data is being communicated between design teams through the aforementioned packages, the design collaboration module on top of BIM 360 will show the flow of packages in an auditable yet very visual way. This can be seen here. The top part represents the timelines of the different companies and disciplines. The bulbs on the different timelines show when a package became available and whether or not it was accepted. The bottom part shows an aggregated view of the project, incorporating the designs of the different stakeholders. 
This allows for any company within this process to easily understand what has been communicated to them and whether or not to accept another discipline's design. And again, as BIM 360 design is part of the BIM 360 offering, it means we have all tools of the basic functionality at hand to optimize communication. Measuring, verifying component information, sectioning, defining issues as we've discovered a potential problem within the design. We can even compare the latest package that we received to the previous one, so we can understand what exactly has been added, removed and modified. So let's take a look at the workflow itself now. For Revit designers, as stated before, nothing much has changed. They can use work sets and connect to the central file. By defining publish sets, they decide which sheets to publish out to their internal review team. It is now up to the coordinator to review these views and sheets and to define a package that can be shared externally. Using BIM 360 design, the reviewer has all tools necessary to consult the design provided by his project team. Using these tools, such as measuring, sectioning, checking object properties, but also understanding the design within context of the other disciplines, filtering down by level, the reviewer can easily analyze the information held within the design without having to call for a review meeting with the designers themselves. Once finished, a package can then be created and shared with the other teams. It is now time for the other team to review the received package in order for them to accept or send back the proposed design. To do so, they have the exact same review tools that come with BIM 360 design. For instance, in order to understand the relationship between sheets and 3D views, they can make use of the hypermodeling functionality, which links locations and objects between 2D and 3D. All of this functionality is at the disposal of these teams so they can easily make informed decisions about the communicated designs. Once a package has been accepted, it can be used as a reference link within their own design. So to summarize, BIM 360 design helps to formalize communication between design teams and to improve the quality of decisions to take without the need to bring everyone together in one room. Thank you.